Aaron Piper's breakthrough performance in Elite made us all talk. But in his most recent Netflix series, Muted, he says almost little. That's not fully accurate, though. Piper's latest psychological suspense is on a young man named Sergio who allegedly threw both of his parents out of a high-rise flat and thereafter developed selective mutism. Literally, Sergio won't discuss what happened, so a psychologist decides to let him out of juvenile prison so they may observe how he behaves when he goes back to the crime scene. Sergio is not as quiet as the title might imply because he soon begins conversing with a number of viewers of the show. But by the end of these six episodes, that ambiguous and unsettling end scene is sure to have viewers discussing. Did Sergio actually murder his parents, then? What is Sergio and Anna's hidden relationship, who actually passed away at the very end? Just long enough to pry your eyes away from the stunning co-star Manu Rose to learn the truth about what transpired at the conclusion of Muted. Explain Muted Ending Whether Sergio actually killed his parents has been the central topic of this drama since the opening scene. It turns out he did. But it takes a few twists along the way to get there, six episodes later. Sergio claims that his mother experimented on him and later his sister Noah by medicating them with various prescription medications. Sergio did confront Blanca to defend Noah, but it was his father who ultimately shoved her out the window. Mind you, accidentally. Then, shortly after becoming overwhelmed with guilt and taking his own life, he passed away. All of that, however, is untrue. Yes, Sergio was given medicines by Blanca, but she did it to help him with his rage problems. As a psychiatrist, Sergio's mother did everything she could to shield her son. And for a while, it was working, until he forgot to take his medication one day and snapped. And Blanca never mistreated or gave drugs to Noah. Due to Sergio's deteriorating mental state, he eventually snapped and assaulted his mother because he believed she was out to get them both. Sergio's father was also killed when he challenged Sergio about his behavior. And Noah witnessed the entire event, which is how we know this. If we're being completely honest, Anna's pursuit of the truth led to her being oddly fascinated with Sergio and more than a little horny for him. She can identify to him more deeply than most people since she, too, struggles with psychological problems that are comparable to his. She's undoubtedly horny to some extent of it. In either case, Anna goes too far, which brings us to the episode's final uncertain moment. Sergio brings Anna up to the balcony where his parents were killed after Noah and the police have left the crime site. In a blurry camera shot, we see them both as one of the two falls to the ground below as the other just stays there and watches. From a distance, one can hear screams coming from the street. But who just died? Furthermore, did they jump or were they prodded? Even though the truth of it all may not be evident at the time, it doesn't really matter. The question of who is dead is actually irrelevant. Yes, Sergio might have been motivated to push Anna and do his prior act again. However, Anna could have grown angry at the direction their adventure had taken them, to the point where she made the decision to strike out and murder Sergio in the same manner that he had murdered his own parents. It makes no difference either way. Sergio and Anna are initially presented as rivals or at the very least as diametrically opposed. One works inside the law to determine why the crime was committed in the first place, whereas the other is a criminal. However, Anna's fascination quickly consumes her thoughts to the point that she nearly seems to share Sergio's perspective. Her sense of identity vanishes, making it difficult for us to identify who is who in that final picture is a very purposeful choice on the part of the director since it's almost as if she has transformed into Sergio. Anna had evolved into the very thing she had been following over the course of these six episodes. Whether she made it through this final scene or not, her life would never be the same again, therefore her chapter was essentially over at that point. That is now a topic worth discussing. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more.